Hey, Steve Guttenberg here, and I am the Audiophiliac, and I want to talk about the Quest. The, actually, it's more about every now and then we get a glimpse, a fleeting glimpse of our system sounding great. It's doing everything. It's all there. Everything is clicking. The music sounds real. The music sounds, it's engaging you. You're, you got goosebumps. You're dancing. There's a lot of good stuff going on, and you go, wow. I've done it, it's perfect, or I'm really, really happy. And that's great. You know, the thing is, it doesn't last, you know? Because you can't, if you play a different record, it, it's not gonna have, <coughs> excuse me, it's not gonna have that magic where you play the same exact thing on Wednesday, and if it's slightly lower, it's slightly louder, or it's a different temperature outside of humidity or something, it doesn't quite gel the way it did that night where everything was perfect. So yeah, you know, uh, you could have the greatest system in the world, and I've heard a lot of really great systems. Do they get you over that edge? Or... Not really, you know? So they might have great dynamics, they might have great timber, tone, uh, transient response, spatial imaging, all the good stuff. It may do a lot of those things, but it doesn't quite take you all the way there. And I know it's really frustrating, but the thing is, you gotta calm down and just enjoy what you have, what's what's really doing it for you is is the question. So, chill. And, um, you know, if you have a pair of Advents or an old Pioneer receiver and you're dancing and you're happy, that's it, man, you've, you've arrived. And getting a better speaker or amplifier or turntable or something, yeah, it'll sound better and maybe you'll feel even more connected to the music and that's a beautiful thing. But getting over that hump or looking for the magic bullet that's going to take <clears throat> take you there. Well, that's that's hard. So um, calm down, chill, enjoy. See you later.